Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and tonight where I'm going to do a video for Marty and Eric. Eric is in Florida. Marty, I didn't write down where he's from. Uh, they have no brakes on their machine. <clears throat> I think it's Marty that bought the machine used and it came with absolutely no brakes at all on it. They removed uh, the brake arm, the cable, everything except the pedal. Now, I have an old arm over here. It's a little closer up view of it. Um, that's your brake shoe. This is a roller that the yoke pushes up, pushes up on, and applies the brake on the inside of the clutch assembly. And you just got, it looks like a quarter 28 bolt, a self-locking nut, a washer, and a little tube that acts as a shoulder bolt so you can't over tighten this and lock it up. That's the parts that you're going to need along with a brake cable. Now let's go over to the model and I'll show you where this goes and how to hook up your cable and uh, how this thing actually works. <coughs> now this machine has two brakes on it. This is the little brake I just showed you, and that is activated when you step on your clutch brake pedal, and it's activated by the yoke. I don't know if you can see in there. If I get around to this side and work it. You can see it's pushing the back side of the brake arm and this side is coming down. Now the newer ones, these old ones used to rattle a lot. The newer styles they put a spring in there to keep that from rattling, but usually when the engine's running, I can't hear the rattle anyway. If this goes on And you can't really see the brake. It's right there. You can see it. It is applying it against the inside of the clutch assembly. That's how the first brake works. Now to adjust that, I typically put the brake pedal. I'll have either try to reach up and work it myself or have someone else work it. But when the brake pedal is halfway down, I'll try to get the yoke so it's level with the machine standing up. And then as you continue pushing the pedal down, it pushes the yoke down far enough to activate the brake. Now you do have to keep your eye on these brakes. They do wear quite fast because I don't know what kind of material they actually have in that brake shoe. It, it looks like it's just metal to metal. And you can see if you look down this one, you can see a lip sticking up over here. This one is probably half worn out by now. Now the second brake they have is a band brake and it grabs on this drum. And that's activated by the actual brake pedal if you have two brake pedals. If you only have one, the chances are all you have is this little shoe brake. To hook up this cable, it's pretty simple. I don't know if I can get you where you can see it though. If I can move this thing around a little bit. On the, let me grab another, 
Here's another chain case. Now I'm going to be talking about a fork. And that is this thing right here. That holds the end of the cable on the chain case and then the rest of it comes down and hooks to the band break. There are one of these forks on the chain case and there's one on the back side of the uh, main case. Now to get these out of here, you just simply lift up on it and slide it out of that fork and it comes out of the band brake. Okay, I went over and looked to see if I had another band uh, for the brake, and I don't. Uh, let me drop this down a little. I do have another drum. This is the brake drum that you see sitting in here. Now the end of the cable has a cylinder crushed onto it and it has this little, you can see a smaller ring in there. That's what goes in the fork on the chain case. It hooks in there like this. And what I usually do when I get these in here is I pinch this together just enough to keep it from coming out so it don't come out on me. <clears throat> but we can take this whole cable out of here. The other end has that same setup on it with a little ring cut in it. <clears throat> then you have your spring. And you have the rest of the cable with your ferrules on the end to adjust your pedal. <clears throat> now when I put this in here, I usually run it, and you still can't see, I usually run it under the yoke, then I come up and I go through the slot in the top of the rear case. And I can spin this around. <clears throat> And that comes out just in front of the motor. You can see it sticking out right here. It's a little elongated slot. Now both cables will come through there. The brake cable you have to put in from the inside and run it out because this big spring won't go through that hole. Your clutch uh, your brake cable you can run through this way. This is your clutch brake cable. And I just grab onto the other end out here and, and pull it through. And you pull it up till the spring gets to the hole. Then you reach in here and you grab the end of the cable with that little ring cut in it and you hook it in that fork. Well, it might be easier if I see what I was doing. Then I'll pinch that one shut a little bit. Then I run this up and the band... Well, let me just take this off so I can show you what you're going to be dealing with. This is a nut that holds on, lost the nut, there it is. Got a nut, a lock washer, and a regular washer. Then the band comes off. This is what the band looks like. Now the end of this cable goes through that hole, and then you lift up on it and tip it up, and it can't come out. It's captured in there in a slot. That's what I'm going to be doing back in here where you can't really see too good. Now I'm going to put this band back on. It's 
really a lot easier than it looks. Now I'm going to loop this cable. Now if my fenders weren't cut away, right through here would be a bar going from fender to fender. You want the cable underneath that bar. If this is a bar going across, that'll keep it from getting caught on something when you're driving across your yard. Now you want to stick it down in there, put that cylinder through the hole and tip it up and then hook the end of the cable in this other fork and then just pinch it shut if you want to and that's all there is to hooking up your brake cable your clutch cable will come down this is another yoke that I have and it fits in there. Let me move this back a little. It fits in here like this. Now the end of the clutch cable has the same part on it the brake cable does. And it goes in this hole and then you tip it up and it gets caught in there and it can't come out. And you run it through the tube along with this cable and you hook it to your pedals. That's if you have two pedals. If you only have one pedal, you're not going to have this cable or this brake. The only cable you're going to have is going to hook to this. And when it, when it tips up the yoke and you keep going with it, it'll apply the brake and lock this up. That's about all there is to it. Marty and Eric, <coughs> boy, a little dusty out here, I guess. <coughs> if you still need a help and uh, I went too fast or something, let me know. It's really not that hard to hook these cables up. It's pretty simple. Um, if you're having more issues, let me know and I'll try to get back with you. Maybe send me your phone number and I'll give you a call. But send your phone number to my email. Don't put it in the description below this video. Because then everybody will have your phone number. You send it to Jim's Fix It Shop at gmail.com and uh, I can get back with you. But that's, that's all there is to it. And uh, I don't know. What else to say? It's pretty simple, really. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon.